hey what's up everybody and welcome back to the studio this is peace and we have news about the upcoming halloween event for pokemon sleep we got one new pokemon mimikyu is coming to the game so drift bling was not the halloween pokemon i wasn't sure and this confirms it wasn't so we got mimikyu a new pokemon we're gonna check out the uh event and we're gonna check out mimikyu right now let's get started right away i think i would just be using my phone so let's go ahead and take a look at mimikyu new arrival mimikyu there have been reports of mimikyu appearing near certain areas maybe this is thanks to the sleep research you've been all been conducting it may be possible to encounter it during sleep research sometime soon we hope you are looking forward to this all right appearing beginning october 28th uh 2024 at 3 p.m mimikyu incense can be used starting from the date and time above uh it will be appearing at green grass isle and the old gold power plant sleep type is dozen type and new main skill disguise berry burst gets a set of amount of berries plus a few of each of the berries other pokemon on your team collect on rare occasions you'll get a great success and receive a greater number of berries Note, after a great success, no more great successes will occur until the next sleep research or manual sleep data entry. Um, so just from reading this, I think it's a pretty good main skill. Um, I don't know how many berries you'll get with a great success. And um, even without great success, we don't know how many berries you'll be getting. But, uh, no, wait, did, did this say if this is a berry specialist or not? It actually doesn't say whether Mimikyu, Mimikyu is a berry specialist or ingredients or main skill specialist. The main skill itself sounds good, but we don't know if Mimikyu is going to be a berry specialist or not. And we don't know what ingredients it's going to get yet. I would assume it one of the ingredients is going to be coffee. But overall, pretty cool new Pokemon coming to the game. I like Mimikyu. And oh, Pikachu is also uh, coming back with the purple ribbon instead. Bef uh, the first one, it was an orange ribbon, but now it's a purple ribbon. And with these Pikachu event, um, the main skill has always been different. So I don't know if this one's going to be the same too or not. Uh, let's read the... Halloween event, double candy research, trick or treat. This week long event is a special time when ghost type Pokemon are more likely to appear. During this event, you may even meet a Pikachu wearing a Halloween hat. You can get fun rewards such as Handy Candy S from limited time missions. You can also get at least two times the usual number of candies from sleep research. Try getting lots of candy during this event. And during this event only, Gengar, Drift Bleem, and Skelly Dirge can appear on Greengrass Owl. There will also be other bonuses. We hope you're looking forward to this event. It will begin on October 28th at 4 a.m. to Monday, November 4th uh, to 3.59 a.m. So only happening on Greengrass Owl because they always decorate the island for events. I don't know if it's going to be the same as last year. We'll see. Bonuses. The following effects will trigger in the applicable areas during the, this event. Certain Pokemon will be more likely to appear during sleep research. Each time a ghost type helper Pokemon brings you ingredients during regular helping, it will have one extra. The chance of a ghost type helper Pokemon main skill being triggered will be multiplied by one and a half. Main skills levels of ghost type helper Pokemon will be boosted by one. The Snorlax in the event area will have a ghost type berry set as one of its favorite berries and the other two will be random. Many Pokemon of different sleep types will appear during sleep research regardless of research's sleep type for that day. On Halloween day, October 31, and the last day of the event, November 3rd, researchers will gain three times the usual number of candies for their first sleep research of the day. Um, other days, researchers will gain two times the usual number of candies for the first sleep research of the day. Pokemon that are easier to encounter during the event. 
The following Pokemon are more likely to appear during this event. Much greater appearance rate. Pikachu with the Halloween hat and Mimikyu. Greater appearance rate. Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, Shuppet, Bennett, Drip, Drifloon, Drifbleem, and uh, Skeledurge. About Pokemon Halloween. To commemorate Halloween 2024, Double Candy Research Pikachu Halloween will be appearing with a new purple hat. This is a great opportunity to use Pikachu Halloween incense, which you can get as a reward for completing limited time missions to research this Pikachu's sleep styles. Note it's also possible during sleep research to encounter different versions of Pikachu Halloween that appear during the previous Halloween events. So you're still going to see the orange ribbon hat Pikachu, as well as the new purple ribbon Pikachu and notes um the notes are just the typical usual stuff for events like um bonuses only apply to the first sleep uh, not the second session though so like don't do naps and stuff um unless you can get really high it doesn't matter um let's see yeah it's pretty much the same thing picture wearing hollow hat cannot be evolved oh yeah yeah sleep same stuff but yeah overall uh pretty exciting it's relatively similar um to the previous one this, this is again this is only the second one but i think mimikyu is a cool pokemon and i'm excited for that so in terms of team for this event we don't have a lot of ghost type pokemon um we have gengar uh Bennett, and uh, skelly dirge which um uh, what's the pre-evolution call again fukoko fukoko is a fire type but once you get to you once you evolve it to uh skill search it is a ghost type pokemon so that's a total of just counting the um final form one two three four so four ghost type pokemon and the other two berries will be different so this does give you a variety too for ghost type because you have a uh, banette as a berry specialty pokemon which is pretty good uh gengar has always been a s tier pokemon skill leader uh i haven't experienced too much with it so i can't say much uh i think it's okay it's in good it's in ingredients specialty pokemon so let's let's take a look at my team a ghost team let's take a look at my pokemon um my ghost type pokemon i don't have a lot but i do have two good gengar one of them is shiny uh this banette is pretty good does have very funny s and speed of hope up for uh nature and i will be using this for sure my drift loom are not that great Again, they are main skills specialist. Um, this one does have main skill chance up, but speed of help is down. So I don't know. Uh, personally, Drifloon, I don't think it's that good of a Pokemon because um, y y if you have a charge string and Pokemon, that's better than just than using stockpile. Uh, unless you can stock up to 10 times as mentioned in my other video if you guys haven't seen that yet about drift looms, you can check it out but i do have i would say three decent ghost type pokemon that i can use for my team and then the other two will be random we'll just have to see what it is all right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick overview of the Halloween event and uh, Mimikyu coming to the game. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think it's going to be. A berry, ingredients, or main skill specialist. And what ingredient it's going to get. I, I think it's going to get coffee. We'll have to see. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.